That news story broke last night. Anyone says that young people can't do politics, I do not believe at all. And they absolutely can. You've just got to find what interests them. Young people that I teach have opinions on everything from the currency, from being in Europe, to immigration, to tuition fees. And it's just giving them the confidence to have that voice and be able to speak up in class. Politicians seem to ignore youngsters, but Leslie Ann's encouraged us to participate, to find our voice and to express our views. It's very kind that they think so highly of me, but I think it's because my door is always open. Um, I'm always prepared to talk to them about work or issues that are affecting them outside of their college and their studies. My mum had breast cancer last year and she supported me through the whole year, constantly like doing stuff that you would never expect a teacher to do. I was really, really ill last year. I missed about three months. I would never have passed last year and I would never be on my HND now if it wasn't for Leslie Ann. I never asked them to do anything that I'm not prepared to do myself, which is why I think there's numerous ropey canvases on this corridor of me falling out of a canoe or hanging off Crib Gorch up in Snowden. Um, I'm always prepared to muck in and they know that. It's something that really stands out with Leslie Ann. She seems to command respect from her students, but they all adore her and she is absolutely dedicated to her own professional development. And one really key recent example is her becoming a judge on the Chris Evans 500 Word Children's Stories. We do lots of uh, work with our public services in the area. Um, so they will go to South Wales Police Headquarters um, and the students will literally get to throw bricks at police officers because they are training to be riot officers. I really do meet, and I'm very privileged actually, to meet some great young people and I love seeing them progress. 